Is Oculus Quest 2 Plus subscription worth it? That's what we're going to be finding out in this video. So if you have not been on your VR recently, specifically more the fact of the Oculus Quest 2, we noticed a subtle little update in the app itself. If you go into it and have a little look, you will notice that they only start for 81p. Now, that is a bargain in my opinion. For first month, you get it at that price to check how it is and to get the overall feel of it. So, as of right now, you get two games for this VR subscription. What are these games, may you ask? Gunman in the Pistol Whip game modes and Pixel Ripped 1995. Now, with Pistol Whip, it's a very, very good game. It's a beat rhythm, rhyme game, sort of like Beat Sabers, but with pistols instead, where you play in different playgrounds and arenas to different themed songs. And you pretty much got to shoot the people on beat, otherwise you'll be restarting again. Now, if you like the rhythm beat in games, this will be something for you as... It's very similar to that, just with different weapons. Then, with Pixel Ripped 1995, this is a very trippy one. If you've never played a game like this before, you will be in such a treat for this. This sort of game is a game where you play in a game. Very trippy Matrix Inception sort of stuff here. Pixel Ripped, you play as a young kid in 1995 on the arcade game of your Nintendo on the Pixel game, where you play a game where you have the game in that game come to life, where you got to balance the equations out of seeing how much you can play that game without your parents looking. Now, as trippy as that sounds, you will understand the concept more that you play into that game. Now, enough of talking about games. Two really, really great choices to start off the first ever subscription game service for the MetaQuest. Will this take off? I don't know. But as of right now, after your first month, you get access to top tiles and discover hidden gems. You'll be able to get the first two apps on the day you subscribe, but you must be 18 or older. So the offer of 81 pence uh, ends roughly on the 31st of July 2023. Now, what well, could we potentially get some great games in the next coming months if they continue this? I think so. I definitely think so. We could get some pretty good ones. Is there any ever games on the Quest 2 store that you don't really want to buy but you've always wanted to play? This is a perfect opportunity like with PlayStation Plus or Xbox subscription where you get to play those underrated games that you may or may not have never ever played. Now, will you be getting this as the ending price of this month will roughly be $7.99, $6.99 depending on your original country currency. Now, for me, I'm heavily, heavily excited by this as there's a lot of opportunities of games that they could add. PC VR option, Meta Quest option, so games that don't do as well, they could easily put there on the VR subscription service to get some notoriety. Or instead of just making games free, they can put them on the Meta Quest 2 service. Now, honestly, let me know your thoughts and opinions. I'm super hyped by this. Now, as always, thank you so much for watching.